Uh, the next speaker, most of you are very familiar with. She might as well have a second home down here. Um, she's served the community so well in her various roles of the Department of Environment, and, and I'm pleased at the choice that the mayor made to announce that she would be our Department Commissioner for Environment. That's Suzanne Malik McKenna. Well, it's great to be here today. Thank you very much, Alderman Pope, Mayor Daly, Rosie. Um, it's, it's such a great day to, to see all that hard work come together, right? And the, the work that we've done here in Calumet has absolutely been all about partnership. And I'm seeing a lot of partners uh, across the room, across the, the outdoor room. Um, and it's beautiful uh, to celebrate this with us. I, in the far back, I see Kathy Dickett, uh, who's Deputy Commissioner of Department of Planning and Development. And, and without DPD and their work on land acquisition, we wouldn't all be standing here today. So we've got to give her a big round of applause. with government agencies, federal, state, and local, and Department of Planning and Development and OMP have been and great partners with us. But of course, the partnership that we've had with the community has been just amazing. Uh, you have more knowledge about this area than any of us combined. Um, from the Calumet Heritage Partnership to the Southeast Environmental Task Force to the Hegwis Chamber of Commerce, the Calumet Area Industrial Commission, uh, and just so many different groups that have worked so well together um, towards a, a common vision. And that common vision is that we know this region that has been dumped on, as the mayor mentioned, and we all experience, really has so much promise. It has ecological, economic promise together, which we know will all be good for the community as we continue to plan it together. So um, I love that 425 days, Rosie, because I think that's about when we're going to open the Ford Calumet Environmental Center. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll have these wonderful celebrations going on around the same time. And uh, we're very excited about all that we've been able to accomplish together. Um, Kevin and Joanne, who are taking lots of photos right here, are our <laughs> new chairs of the Calumet Stewardship Initiative. Um, this has been this program has been going on for about five years, and now we have community members who are leading it for us, uh, helping us get the word out about all the different activities going on in Calumet that we can learn from, enjoy, and help restore. So we know when the center is up and running and all this work that we're doing uh, continues, we're going to have a lot of volunteers from the community. But most importantly, we have your voice and your engagement and your opinions and your knowledge about the region that we can be using to make this a better place together. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for being here today. We're very excited about the $2.1 million. We're excited that this place we're standing at right now, Hyde Lake Wetlands, which is 50 acres, right along Indian Creek, uh, which had some restoration already done by the Ford Supplier Park, uh, has this opportunity to be rejuvenated. Um, it still has some really interesting species in there, a lot of Phragmites that we all know, right, with the feathery top, um, but also there's, there's a range of other species here that are good, and by going in there, uh, cleaning up the site and taking out invasive species, and giving the sun and water and air to get down to the seed banks that are still there, we're going to have much healthier habitat that we can all enjoy, that the critters and us. So uh, I want to say thank you again to everybody for all your continued work. We'll keep seeing you out here at events, at celebrations, at digging holes and planting trees, and uh, we really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you very much.